Hello, beautiful soul. Namaste. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of the podcast, A Coffee with the Angels. For those of you who are new here, I'm your host, Maria Molina, and I receive you here with all my heart and gratitude today. So thank you for joining me. You may be watching this on YouTube or maybe listening to this on Spotify or other platforms where podcasts are released. But wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Make sure you either subscribe to my YouTube channel or you follow me, you follow the podcast in wherever you're listening it to, wherever you're listening it from, uh, so you won't miss any episodes in the future, okay? You can also follow me on social media. There are other social media platforms where you can also connect with me and keep growing and expanding your consciousness with the angels. And you just need to search for Maria Molina Angels on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, okay? And I'll be there with you whenever you need me, okay? So let's keep our connection. Um, so on today's episode, uh, we're going to talk about something that it's actually a message I received the other day and that really triggered me. Like that's that, that really got stuck in my head. And I was thinking about that the whole day. And I was like, you know what? I need to write this down and I need to record an episode about this because I'm sure there are more people thinking just like this girl. So I received this message where the girl was saying, oh, that's very nice. I cannot imagine how nice it is to connect with the angels. It's just a shame that I'm not good enough like you are. I'm not enlightened enough as you are. I would love to connect with them, but... Uh, it's just said that I am not capable of connecting with them because I'm not there like you are. I'm not just like you, you know, I'm not so good as you are to connect with them. Um, and that really got like, oh, that got stuck in my heart when I heard, when I read that. Because can you see already where the problem is here? If you are coming from a place where you believe that you're not good enough, where you believe that you're not enlightened enough to connect with angels or whichever being you want to connect with. If you're coming from that place where you're lowering yourself to a really low place, you know, and you're telling the universe that you're not worthy of this or not good enough, of course, it's going to be impossible for you to connect with them. Because you are already placing yourself in the lowest place, place ever because even animals connect with the angels. So you're putting yourself, I mean, of course, animals are very enlightened beings as well, but you are just putting yourself so low, you know, because you believe you're not good enough for this connection. So first, I want you to think about that because, I mean, I totally get it. I totally understand how you feel because even for myself in the beginning, when I started connecting with them and really like seeing them and hearing them, I remember that even because I was not used to it, right? And even I was wondering and asking myself like, oh my gosh, like, is this really happening? Am I like, who am I? Who am I to to see them? Who am I to receive messages from them? You know, because I was still coming from a very Catholic roots because I, I grew up Catholic. Not anymore, but I grew up in a Catholic family. Very, very religious family. Um, but I think one of the main issues here is it, it does come from the religious point of view when it comes to this, because religion tend to put us like very, very, very low to make us feel the worst of the beings, you know, sinners that need to pay for our sins, that we are the worst creations in the universe, you know, that God and angels and all these wonderful beings are so far away from us and they're so much better than us and we don't deserve them. We have to be begging for them all the time and we are not worthy of this and we are just really bad bad, you know, creations. We forget how wonderful we are and how divine we are. We are part of this creation. We are part of this race. That's what they're saying. Rays of light. We are rays of light. We are divine beings. And we forget that. 
And the more we believe that we are not worthy, of course, the more we push them away. I mean, the problem is not that you're not connecting with them. The problem is that sometimes, first of all, we believe that connecting with angels need to be in a certain way. We compare ourselves to the way that other people connect with them, and we think it needs to be the same way. Okay, so of course, you're going to get frustrated with that because you're a, a unique being. The way you connect with them is going to be different from the way that I connect with them. Uh, but the thing is that just by thinking about them, we're already bringing them into our lives. We already have them here. But the problem is that we often don't feel their presence because we're coming from this very low vibration. I mean, think about this. I've been doing this work for over seven years now. I connect with the angels since seven years ago. You know, the first time that I truly embraced the connection with them. I mean, I've been connecting with them since I was very young, but in a conscious way, it's been seven years. But I, since then, it's been like every day I connect with them. This is my work. This is what I do. I, I actually need the angels <laughs> to do my work. So, of course, it's much easier for me because I've been doing this for a long time and I'm very used to them right now. I do this every day for a living. So it's easier. Of course, it's easier for me. So again, don't compare yourself to me or to anyone else because you have your own path. You have your own journey with them. But then again, the, the second thing you need to understand is that, I mean, you have to ask yourself this. How is your energy? Have you been taking care of your energy in a very active way? Have you been aligning yourself? healing yourself, opening your consciousness, working on your spirituality, working on your spiritual growth, working on raising your vibration, actively raising your vibration constantly. Are you returning to yourself? Have you been managing to forgive? Have you been managing to let things go? Have you been managing to tap into love constantly? Because that's a, that's a whole other Thing that we need to take in consideration here. I mean, I work in myself all the time. Like all the time I'm working on myself with Reiki, with meditation. Do you meditate all the time? Like, are you constantly meditating? Even me before I started, because I, I mean, I started really channeling the angels since I started working with Reiki. That was the first time that I really consciously received information from them. But even before I started with Reiki, I was already coming from a meditation practice. I was already meditating by then. So again, have you been meditating? Have you been healing? Have you been connecting with you? Have you been healing these thoughts that you were less than other people? Have you been working on that? Because of course, you need it's a practice. You need to get used to this. I am not enlightened. We are all in a path of ascension. We are all growing and learning every day. I'm still in the works, you know? I'm still doing inner work on myself all the time because I need it. Otherwise, I can't feel them, even for myself, when I'm angry, when I'm stressed, when I'm, uh, I don't know, when I'm just in a low vibration, I can't feel them. It's impossible for me to receive anything from him, from them. And I mean, if you are maybe my client or I mean, my clients know that's, you know, it, it's not often that this happens, but it happened before that I actually had to postpone um, my sessions because I was not in a, in, a, in a good vibration on that day. Something happened, something was triggered and it was impossible for me to do healing work, to do angel work. I had to take care of myself instead. I had to return to myself. I had to align everything back. I had to heal what was going on. So then I can start working with the angels again and I can start taking care of other people. So first of all, where are you coming from when you're talking about connecting with the angels? Are you coming from a mentality that you're low, that you are not good enough, that you don't deserve this, that you're not worthy? Are you working on yourself? Are you doing the work? Because it's... it's a lifetime work, many lifetimes work. 
we're here for this. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. We're here to heal. We're here to return to ourselves and remember who we are. That's the whole, the main job here to remember who we are. So if you are believing that you are so low, that you're not good enough, that, you, that I am better than you because I'm not, we're one, we are one. You're coming from the very separation mentality that there are enlightened people, that there are people better than you, that you are very low and a sinner, you know? That separation, that's 3D, that's just really rooted in fear. And it's time to expand. It's time to start working on you. It's time, it's time to start raising your vibration, opening your consciousness so you can feel and understand that we are one, that there is no one better than you, that we are all equals here. So it's important to understand this because... <clears throat> People really believe that, you know, angels are far from them and they're not. The other thing that you need to understand as well is that people also want, I mean, what is connecting with angels really? People think that the angels are going to do the work for them. And this is something you need to understand, which is, is very different when it comes to angel energy than other beings maybe, but angels, you know, in itself, they, their energy is pure love. So don't expect that they're going to tell you about the future. Don't expect that they're going to tell you to turn right instead of left, to give you answers on what you need to do, on what's going on, or to tell you about, about other people. The angels, are that's not their job. They're not here to, to, to just do the work for you. You need to do the work. You need to make your own decisions. You need to go through your own lessons. You need to find the answers within you. What they are here for is to really be our friends, is to really walk with us, to inspire us, to help us find the answers inside of us, to help us take action, to, to give us energy to take action, because when it comes to their mind, to, to, to their point of view, to their perspective, first, there, there is no such thing as future because there's no time. There's no time. There's no space where they come from. So there is no future. All infinite possibilities are there. So they are never going to tell you this is going to happen. Otherwise, people are, you know, people would be asking them for which numbers would be, you know, coming in the lottery and I would be super millionaire right now, but that doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. It's not like that. We have to go through our lessons. Okay. They're not going to tell you about the future. They're not going to, that's the problem. Cause people think like, and I often receive messages even from people saying this, oh, my guardian angel forgot me. You know, uh, my guardian angel is not doing anything for me. He's not answering me or he's not helping me. But what, what are you asking them for? Are, are you asking the angels to change people for you? So everyone around you changes and then you feel good? No, you need to do the work. You need to do your own healing. It's not about other people. They're never going to influence your free will ever they're never going to tell you what to do. They're never going to tell you about other people. They're never going to change anyone for you. They're not going to knock on your door and give you all the, all the opportunities of, of your dream job. All of them there. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to give you a house out of the blue. Like, here it is, you know. They're not going to give you a bag of money. No, they're going to help you manifest what you want. They're going to help you find the answers. They're going to help you heal yourself so you can understand what's best for you. They're going to help you feel empowered again, return to yourself. They're going to protect you. They're going to help you to heal yourself. That's what they do. They're not here to tell us anything else about people, about life. Give, giving us answers because we all have answers within and they can help us to find that answer but they're not tell you they're gonna they're not gonna tell you that so <clears throat> always remember that you are good enough that you can do it just like I do perhaps even better than I do as long as you keep on working even when you don't receive answers, even when you don't feel the connection, even when you don't see them, when you don't hear them the way you expect it should be. 
just accept, just know that they are there, just know that they are listening. We don't always need answers. I mean, even for me, 99% of the time, I don't get answers from them. They just tell me what I need to know and not what I want to know. There's a huge difference there. You know, so you have to just embrace because they are here to bring us love. They are here to love us. They are here to, you know, take care of us. They are here to protect us. They are here to be with us and, and to just help us understand that we are not alone, that we have these divine helpers with us. But the, that doesn't mean that they're going to take action for us. Never. We need to take action. We need to do the work, not them. So you need to do the healing. You need to, to return to yourself, take care of yourself, open your consciousness, you know. Be love actively, you know. You need to forgive. You need to let go. You need to be kind to other people. You need to be grateful. You need to... Choose love over fear. It's your job. And the more you open your heart, the easier it gets. The more open your heart is, the more you are in resonance with their energy. So it's easier for you to feel them, to feel their presence. Again, it, it doesn't mean that they're not listening. It doesn't mean that they're not helping. It doesn't mean that they're not here when you call upon them. You just don't feel them. They are right now. We're talking about them. They are with you now. They are there even when you don't feel it. And that's the, that's the key thing here. They are there. Just know that they are, even when you don't feel them. Have faith in it. And then everything will begin to change. Okay, beautiful soul. That's what I want you to take from this. You are worthy. You can do it as long as you do the work, as long as you have patience with yourself, as long as you don't compare yourself with others. Because I remember even for me in the beginning, I used to compare myself. I used to think that I should be seeing them and receiving them in the same way that other people I was following were doing. But it's, and, I, and that was a hard thing for me to learn. That it was my own way, my own way. So you have to accept that. Okay. Now, if by any chance you feel like you want to connect with them in a deeper way and you need help with this, I have a special work. Um, that is called Angel Circle of Light, where every month we connect, uh, we connect with a different archangel and you learn everything you need to learn about that archangel and we connect with that archangel in a very deep way through prayers, meditations, activations, um, attunements. It's a very deep work where you will begin to get used to each archangel's vibration so you can start to learn when they are near you, the difference between the, the energies when they connect with you. It's a very beautiful work, very deep work. And that's, that's how I can help you to, to do this. But again, it's up to you. It is your choice. It is something that you need to work on, something that you need to do, not me. I'm here to help, but it's you. It's your journey and you need to learn your own ways of connecting with them just don't give up believe yourself believe them and know that they are helping you even when you think they are not even when you have forgotten them even they have always been there okay beautiful so so that's all i have for you today i'm looking forward to keep connecting with you thank you so much for being here if you have questions please send them through <laughs> let me know because then i can record more podcasts for you i wish you a wonderful and a blessed day Follow me on other social media, as I have mentioned earlier. And I'll see you soon. I'll talk to you soon as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, shanti, shanti. And namaste. Mm -hmm.